Dear colleagues, it's my honor to present on behalf of all co-authors the results of our study entitled A Multi-Feature AI-Based Solution for Cancer Diagnosis in Breast Biopsies, a prospective, blinded, multi-site clinical study. Here are my disclosures. As you all know, breast cancer is the most common malignant uh, disease and computer-assisted diagnostic solutions can support pathologists in the diagnosis of breast biopsies with increased accuracy and efficiency. But before being used in routine, these uh, solutions need of a rigorously blinded, independent, multi-site clinical studies. IBEX Medical Analytics developed Gallen Breast, an artificial intelligence based diagnostic algorithm which detects multiple cancer types in breast biopsies. So the study objective was to clinically validate the performance of the Gallen Breast algorithm on detection of invasive and in situ breast carcinoma, on grading of DCIS, on detection of additional clinical features such as angiolymphatic invasions or TILs against rigorous ground truths established by multiple pathologists. Our study design was as follows. It's a multi-site uh, design uh, with involving Institut Curie in France and Maccabi Health Care Services in Israel. It's a prospective study set up with retrospectively collected cases and six senior pathologists participated in the study. The ground truth was established by majority agreement of at least two pathologists who reviewed independently the cases blinded from the initial diagnosis. The sample size was determined by a statistician and calculated based on 80% power at a two-side 5% significance level against the null hypothesis of 80% sensitivity and specificity for invasive cancer. The primary endpoint is the performance of the gallon breast in invasive cancer detection. The secondary and exploratory endpoints are the performance of DCS and ADH detection, the detection of ductal versus lobular invasive carcinoma, and the detection of low-grade versus high-grade DCIS. The study flow is as follows. We created the data set then we uh, scanned the images and process the whole scanned images on the um, uh, algorithm, the gallon breast algorithm. And then the um, analysis and the results were um, performed by an independent statistician. Here is the study flow chart. 171 cases came from the pathology department of Maccabi that represented 372 HNE stained slides. 270 cases came from the Institut Curie. The slides were stained by hematein, eosin, and saffron, and it represented 480 slides. All slides were scanned at Maccabi on the Philips Ultrafast scanner, at Curie on the Amamatsu NanoZoomer um, 360. Five cases were excluded uh, because uh, four cases had the uh, slides out of focus and one case uh, had a missing slide. The data set was then uh, finally composed by 436 cases encompassing 156 invasive carcinoma, 135 DCIS and ADH, and 145 benign lesions. The whole scanned images were processed by the Galen breast algorithm, blinded from the ground truth, and then compared to the ground truth. The ground truth was obtained by the comparison of the original uh, diagnosis uh, with the uh, review by a second pathologist under the microscope. 378 cases were concordant and 58 cases were with discrepancies. 11 uh, cases, the discrepancies were on the invasive diagnosis, 
15 cases were discrepant on DCIS or ADH diagnosis. Seven cases were um, discordant on the histological type of the invasive component, and 25 cases were discordant on the uh, grade of the DCIS. So these discrepant cases were reviewed by a third pathologist to obtain the ground truth. Here are the results. First of all, the invasive carcinoma detection gallant breast performance. As you can see on the right part of the slide, the ROP curve is almost perfect with an area under the curve equal to 0 0.990 and a very narrow confidence interval, a sensitivity of 95.51 and a specificity of 93.51. Fifty-seven. So the gallant breast demonstrated an extremely high performance in detecting multiple types of invasive cancer, including rare histological types, because in our data set, 31 cases corresponded to rare histological types such as metaplastic, tubular, apocrine, mucinous, micropapillary carcinoma. Our second result is about the insight to carcinoma detection. And the gallant breast performance is also very good with an area under the, the curve uh, of uh, 0 0.949 and a very close, a very narrow confidence interval. The sensitivity is 87.41%, uh, the specificity being 86.9%. Uh, if the uh, ADH is withdrawn from uh, the, the study, um, the performance increases with a sensitivity uh, being 93.2%. Uh, the Gallen breast also demonstrated a very high accuracy in the identification of lobular versus ductal invasive carcinoma, as you can see here, with an area under the curve of 0 0.973, a sensitivity of almost 93%, and a specificity also of nearly 93%. The Gallen breast also demonstrated a very high accuracy in distinguishing low-grade DCIS and ADH versus intermediate and high-grade DCIS with an area under the curve of uh, 0 0.921 and a sensitivity of 84.1% and a specificity of 84.8%. One of the uh, cases was uh, uh, represented only by lymphovascular invasion. No other invasive component was present on the biopsy, and it was missed by the first reader pathologist. The gallon breast identified these um, lymphovascular invasion as an invasive carcinoma. If we compare our study to the previously artificial intelligence studies um, previously reported, we can see that our study um, has the highest number of cases and uh, a high number of uh, whole slide images, and we experienced and demonstrated the highest um, accuracy with the highest sensitivity and specificity to detect invasive carcinoma compared to the previous published study and also a very uh, good uh, sensitivity and specificity in detecting uh, in situ carcinoma compared to the previous uh, three uh, studies uh, published before. So in conclusion, we can say that this prospective blinded multi-site clinical study has successfully validated the performance of the Gallen Breast AI-powered solution which demonstrated a very high accuracy in detection of invasive and in situ carcinoma. The algorithm demonstrated uh, high performance uh, across two different labs and countries using different staining, HNE and HES, and different scanning systems. The strong AI algorithm accurately identified different histological types of invasive carcinoma and different DCIS grades, 
And also, this algorithm, the gallon breath algorithm, can alert on cancers missed by pathologists. And with the highest accuracy for AI tools reported so far in the field of breast cancer, at the moment, the gallon breast is the highest accuracy reported so far. So we think about the implementation of the AI solution in routine practice as a second read application to achieve a 100% quality control on all breast biopsy diagnosis. I thank you for your attention.